Hi ladies and gentlemen, in this video I'll talk about the relationship between the language of propositional logic and a natural language like English. Specifically, the focus of this video will be on how to translate from one language into the other. Before we get started though, it's helpful to get a quick overview of what a formal language like the language of propositional logic is. Essentially, it's a set of symbols, a syntax or rules for how these symbols can be put together, and a semantics, a set of rules for telling us what these symbols and their combinations mean. In terms of the language of propositional logic, these inter interpretations assign truth value to propositional letters, and what are called valuations assign truth value to complex conjunctions or formations of these symbols. Essentially, we have two languages at our disposal. We have an abstract truth functional language like the language of propositional logic, a set of symbols that are interpreted in terms of truth and falsity and their functions, and a natural language like English. So one way that these languages can be understood in relationship to each other is in terms of translation. That is, we can look at some English sentences or propositions and see how they might be expressed in the language of propositional logic and vice versa. So let's begin with a simple, single English proposition that consists of a subject or multiple subjects and a predicate. So for an example, let's take the sentence that expresses a proposition, John is kind. It consists of a subject, John, and a predicate, is kind. In addition, we can think of John will go to heaven, or Sally is nicer than John. These are simple sentences. Each simple single English proposition can be translated into the language of propositional logic by using a single propositional letter. So for example, we can represent or symbolize or abbreviate John is kind with a J, John will go to heaven with H, and Sally is nicer than John with S. In translating English propositions into the language of propositional logic, the choice of letter you choose to translate into is open. It's arbitrary. It's up to you. However, once you choose a letter to stand for a specific English proposition, you can't again use that letter to stand for another English proposition. In other words, you can't have a single letter in the language of propositional logic do double duty. Translated John is kind as J, we couldn't translate John is friendly using J. We would have to pick another propositional letter. The general guide to choosing a letter is, is we look at the English sentence or proposition and kind of pick a letter that is most prominent in the sentence itself. So for example, in the case of John is kind, we use J because John begins with J. In the case of John is friendly, uh, since J is already used, we'll use F to represent John is friendly. So simple sentences in English can be interpreted in two ways. We could think of these simple sentences as true or false. John is kind is either true or false, depending upon whether or not he's kind or not. Similarly, atomic well form formulas or single propositional letters are interpreted or evaluated in one of two ways. Either they're T or F, standing for true or false. Next, what about propositions in English that make use of not or expressions similar to not, like it's not the case that, it's false that, it can't be the case that, so forth and so on. How about John is not kind rather than John is kind? Or it's not the case that John is friendly. These propositions can be said to have the form of not P, where P is a simple proposition. That is, where P, in the case of John is ki not kind, simply stands for John is kind, and the not as stands for not. These propositions are true when the simple propositions that compose them, the propositions without the not, or it's not the case that, are false. So, for example, John is not kind is true if and only if John is kind is false. And similarly, John is not the, it's not the case that John is friendly is true if and only if John is friendly is false. So, not P propositions are true and false in the same cases as negated woofs in the language of propositional logic. So this suggests that we can translate English propositions of the form not P as negation P. 
So for example, we can translate John is not kind as not J. And we can translate it is not the case that John is friendly as not F. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this has been another video on the language of propositional logic. Like the video if you thought it was helpful and subscribe if you're interested in seeing more videos on topics in logic.